I'm going to use a new foundation today. I'm going to be using the About Face Foundation. How I discovered this foundation, I saw it at Ulta and I did not see anyone really advertise it. So it does have a Dofa applicator, which is not my favorite because I believe they're very unsanitary. I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the skin. One side of the face, I'm going to do a brush. The other side, I'm going to use a wet sponge. But I can tell you real quick, it does mattify really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and rehydrate the foundation with some setting spray. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in. So you see right here in this area where I'm starting to break out? It is a light to medium coverage foundation, what I can tell. It is very luminous. I am having a little bit of like a texture show up right here where my pores are. And also I am having some redness come through. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with a sponge. Doing it with a sponge, it did come off a little more natural and a little more seamless, but at the same time, it's still a light to medium coverage foundation. You can still see my scratch right here on my nose. Also, a little bit of the acne popping through that's starting to form up, and also, you can still see my pores. So, we're going to try one more layer to see if uh, it's buildable. Once again, with the Dofa applicator, we're just going to apply it directly on the skin. Once again, with the brush on this side. And we're going to go with the sponge on this side. So now going in with the second layer, it is buildable. It's now at a medium coverage foundation. Uh, so basically, you can still see some of the acne scars uh, and also still a little bit of redness and also some texture, but it has covered up a little bit of the blemishes a little better. This one is a little stronger, this uh, blemish, but it is uh, adding a little more coverage by adding a second layer, so it is buildable. So on this side where i done the sponge, it does look a little more airbrushed and also a little more luminous. Yes, you can still see the scratch on my nose, but it's a little more covered up. And uh, if you were around like three feet away from me, you probably wouldn't notice the scratch. But like you can still see that there is a little bit of like texture still happening, uh, which is going to be natural. Uh, and also uh, you can still see a little bit of the blemishes, but it did add a little extra layer of coverage. I'm going to add one more layer over top of it just to see how it performs with three layers of foundation to see if it actually becomes cakey at that point. Once again, within the foundation. Once again, we're going to go in with the same brush. On this side, once again, with a sponge. Now I'm going to go over the third layer with you. And uh, so at this point, it's at medium to full coverage. It has added a little more tint to the skin. It still does look natural. It is enhancing a little bit of uh, texture underneath the eye. That's easily remedied by setting spray. Also, it is uh, enhancing a little bit of pore texture underneath the eyes right here, but it is uh, also can be remedied by uh, some setting spray and some setting powder. This blemish right here, which is strong still, uh, is still coming through. There is a little bit of redness right there. So this is the side that I done with the sponge. So now it's uh, starting to really enhance this area right here. I'm not too sure if you could really see it because of the lights but uh, it's starting to enhance this area with uh, the pore texture. This side uh, did a little better with the sponge uh, of covering up uh, the blemishes. You can still see that the blemish texture is still there, but at the same time, if someone was standing uh, three feet away from you, they probably really wouldn't notice too much. Now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly uh, do the rest of my face. Now, after three layers of foundation, it is a little bit tacky, which is to be expected. Uh, so it's going to take a little more time for it to uh, dry down. So while it's still a little bit tacky, I'm going to go ahead and take some setting spray by Milani, uh, the Make It Last setting spray, and sort of just 
re-dampen the foundation and we're gonna go ahead and blend out some of those pores. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some setting powder by uh, Cody, just apply that in the T-zone. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush and take a little bit on the brush or to just push that into the bristles and sort of just set it underneath the eye. Adding that powder it has created a more soft diffused look and I'm gonna take a little more of that powder and add it on the forehead. I'm also gonna take a neutral bronzer and sort of sculpt the face. I'm just gonna take some down the nose. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and sort of just go all over the face since it's still feeling a little tacky. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of blush uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the apples of the cheek. And I'm just gonna lightly tap over the skin. I'm gonna take a little bit of highlighter and sort of just put it in the inner corner of the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. And I'm just gonna put on some lipstick along with some lip gloss. And last step, I'm going to go ahead and take some setting spray and spray it over the entire face. On camera, I look very, very orangey, which I sort of like the color, to be honest, because it looks like my true undertone during the summer. In person, I look uh, actually very natural. It looks very good on the skin. So after trying the product and also layering the product with other uh, makeup products to see how it works with it, I look very, very natural. I look natural. It looks like skin. It's a skin finish foundation. Uh, so basically what that means, it's designed to look like natural skin. It's not designed to look luminous. It's not designed to look mattified. It's meant to look like natural skin. That's the reason why when going in initially, it looks very, like almost like it's not there. It's very lightweight, but it is buildable to get to the coverage where you want to. The question is, are you willing to uh, take your time to add multiple layers of the foundation on your skin to get to the coverage where you want it to be? In this video, I decided not to go ahead and add concealer underneath the eyes just to uh, brighten up the area because I want it to show how does the product work by itself. Most people will just end up buying like a primer, a foundation, some mascara and some bronzer and blush and a lipstick and maybe an eyeliner. So I just wanted to leave it to the bare basics. So far underneath the eyes uh, where it is a little darker naturally because I am 30 but at the same time it adds enough coverage where it still looks natural but like at the same time most people want this from a day-to-day -day look. So it layered very seamlessly with the other products, uh, such as like the blush, the bronzer. Sort of merged it in a way in person where it looks natural. It looks like you're actually, you're actually blushing and you have a natural blush. Honestly, uh, this is more of a product that I would probably use like in the spring or the summer just to uh, seem a little more natural. So overall, I do like this product. For the price point, it is $25 in my state after tax. Do I see that the product is $25 worth? Uh, maybe $20 after tax, but not like $25. If it was like ultimate full coverage, I would be willing to pay around that to $45, maybe, depending on the longevity, which I don't know the longevity right now, if it does not fall into the fine lines or wrinkles. My opinion is that this is a very good foundation for uh, an everyday luminous look. Should you go out and buy this? Yeah, if you want to. Honestly, I do like the product. And also, if you already have products uh, that are similar like this, such as like uh, a product that I can really compare to it where it gives like the same luminous effect and also the skin finish is the Believe Beauty at Dollar General for $5. This does feel a little more a vamped version of this. Honestly, I do like this particular product. Which one do I prefer more? If I was going to uh, go to the store and I saw these both on the shelf, which one would I go for more? Honestly, because I'm a cheap ass, this one like a more vamp version of this uh then go with this my conclusion i do think this is a very good product i do not like the dofa applicator i wished it came with a pump if this product came with a pump i would say it's worth the 25 dollars if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and share this video to all your friends and with that being said thank you for watching remember just do all things with love and until next time bye